And the first taste of winter is always kind of a wake up call for a lot of us Western New Yorkers across the region. Snow and ice led to an awful lot of crashes and some road closures earlier this morning. Well, Channel 2's Rob Hackford joins us live with more on what happened today. Rob. Yeah, Scott and Mary Ellis, the closure of the outbound 33 this morning had us wondering, as well as a few viewers of two on your side, uh, what exactly happened overnight? How were people preparing? Was there pre-salting? Were other things happening ahead of the storm and into the morning commute? Well, we contacted the state. They're the ones that are responsible for the uh, salting and pre-salting on the 33. Uh, a spokesperson told us that 90 vehicles were out pre-treating and salting across the region, not just on the 33. That includes Niagara County, Chautauqua County as well. They did that last night and through the morning commute. Now, that's that's the time when we saw most of those crashes. The Thruway Authority said much the same as did Erie County officials who added, however, that while salting helps roads around western New York are still pretty green and don't have that ingrained layer of salt that's built up through the winter. That DOT spokesperson added that Western New York drivers should know if there is snow on the road or freezing conditions, you also have to adjust your driving. Our traffic team throughout the morning was reporting that there wasn't salt in the road, that things weren't pre-treated. Is there any reason why they might have those beliefs? No, our crews were out, um, especially in Erie County. Like I said, we had 52 trucks out. Uh, there were some spin outs on the 33. The response time from tow trucks was probably a little bit slower. So, um, you know, it, it took some added response time to get those trucks off the road, um, which could have also affected traffic. But, you know, crews were definitely out there and we were salting and treating those roads. Now, I have filed a Freedom of Information Law request with Erie County, as well as the state DOT and Thruway Authority for the dispatch logs for the storm response, what would potentially verify what action was actually taken last night. Now, more winter weather, as we heard from Jen there, is expected tonight, so all of these tips can be well advised for tomorrow's commute as well. Reporting live on your side, Buffalo, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. You got it, Rob.